G'day Wapiti Hunters, my name's Josh Tabak, I'm a Southland Fishing Game Ranger and I'm the Check Clean Dry Advocate for the Fjordland region. Uh, in this short video I want to arm you with a few tips and tricks for how you can stop the spread of aquatic pests while you're out hunting this Wapiti belt. Over the last 15 years, Southland Fishing Game has helped to monitor Didymo and Southland and Fjordland tributaries, many of which flow through the Wapiti belt blocks. Currently Didymo is restricted to just five streams and four Wapiti blocks and utilising these Check Clean Dry tips and tricks will help you to stop it spreading further. My first tip, and probably the most important, if you're heading into the Wapiti ballot blocks, make sure your gear's dry. Drying kills Didymo cells. If you have been hunting in the weeks leading up to the ballot and your gear's still wet or damp, please soak it in a 5% dishwashing detergent solution. This will also kill Didymo cells before you disembark on your trip. For hunters accessing their blocks via Lake Tianau, just remember that the lake has Didymo in it. Don't take the lake up the river, so when you land at your block, make sure that you keep your boots separate and you put them well above the high tide mark when you get there. One of my tricks is to make sure I've got a spare pair of gumboots or waders, that way I can use them around the lake edge and keep my hunting boots for hunting. I also make sure when I jump out of the boat I don't splash. If I am going up river, I'll make sure I try not to cross creeks. I always look for that log, try to stay dry as I can. If you have to cross a creek, try not to get too wet and use the 250ml Check Clean Dry spray bottles to give your gear a bit of a soak while you have a muesli bar or check your GPS. I do this just in case there is Didymo present in the lower catchment. I don't know about it and it stops me from taking it further up than it already is. Some of the blocks have Check Clean Dry stations by the huts as you make your way up river. Give your gear a clean before you head up. Also. If you do want to do a bit of fishing while you're on your downtime and you want to take a rod in, you need a clean gear certificate from Fish and Game. You can get one of these from Outside Sports in Tianau, the Fish and Game office in Tianau, the dock office, or you can come see me at the end of the briefing tonight. If you're coming from far and wide and you're bringing your own boat, just give your trailer a quick look over and make sure you're not bringing any freshwater pests like horn wart or oxygen weed. Just remember guys, Didymo goes where you go. Make sure you give your stuff a good clean before you head into Wapiti blocks. Make sure your stuff's dry and have a good time while you're out there. Do your bit to stop aquatic pests being spread around Fjordland. Cheers.